Kylian Mbappe is not happy at PSG. His dream has been to play for Real Madrid. He wants to move to Real Madrid as soon as possible. Information then, till 2025, Kylian Mbappe remains a PSG player. Last month, he wrote a letter to PSG saying, you know what, I will not extend my contract. And that effectively means that he can walk away from PSG for absolutely nothing. The Mbappe to Madrid saga has come yet again, but I think this will be the end of it. The only question is, what should he do? The way I see it, there are only three options for Mbappe this summer. Stay at PSG, go to Real Madrid, or go somewhere else. Believe it or not, Mbappe has been with PSG for six years. And what does he have to show for that? A bunch of Liga and titles? Exactly. Right now, PSG is not the club where a great player can achieve everything they dreamed of as a player. They tried to make that happen and brought in a lot of quality, but for too many reasons to properly address right now, it didn't work. And the fact of the matter is, PSG is not going to be a top caliber team at least for a few more years. Uguarte can be there one day and same with Zaire Emery, but Mbappe wants to win right now and if he wants to do that ASAP, he should go elsewhere. He should leave PSG. So I'm going to cancel out that option to stay with PSG. And I'm sorry to say this PSG fans, but I think he should do that as well. It's sad because I think at a different time, Mbappe could have spent the rest of his career at PSG, but only if they had been a seriously competitive team for international trophies. That is how you keep the best, most ambitious players happy. That's why places like Real Madrid and Barcelona have been so successful. That's why Modric and Cruz and Ramos had been able to spend so much time at Real Madrid without wanting to leave because they could achieve everything they could have ever wanted at Real Madrid. Mbappe can't do that at PSG. There's not much reason to leave a club when you're getting paid well, getting playing time, and winning matches. But does that mean Mbappe should go to Real Madrid? I'm gonna try to put my Barcelona bias aside for this, but keep it in mind, I'm not perfect and sometimes it seeps through. Top of the La Liga table, had a flawless Champions League group stage, so on paper, Real Madrid is as good as ever right now. But are they actually? No. This season, they've been getting bailed out by Jude Bellingham a ton, and we can argue that his form will never continue like this forever, and then what are they gonna do? But that is just speculation, so let's look at it with a different lens. If Kylian Mbappe joins this side, Jude Bellingham will likely have to play with a little bit less freedom than he does right now. Mbappe just does not show as much on the defensive side of the ball the willingness to cover like Vinny, but more specifically Rodrigo, do. I doubt Jude is gonna be able to make these same penetrative runs when he has to slightly worry about about Kylian Mbappe not tracking back the same way that Vinny and Rodrigo might, even though Vinny isn't the most defensive player in the world. But now that we mentioned that Brazilian duo, what are they gonna do? Vinny almost exclusively plays on the left side, which is exactly where Mbappe plays at his best, and does that mean you have to move Vinny to the right and put Rodrigo through the center? Well, we've seen that Rodrigo doesn't really work well as a striker, so what are you gonna do, bench him even though he has more goal contributions than Vinny does? Or are you gonna bench Vinny? Let's be honest though, these are good problems to have, but it's not a good thing not to be getting the best out of two thirds of your attacking lineup. And on top of that, Endrick is coming as well, who could be great, but will only have just barely turned 18 when he goes next summer. So you can't imagine that he'll start every match so that Mbappe can play off of him on the left, even though an Mbappe, Endrick, Vinny, or Rodrigo front line would be insane. But even though having all of this talent is great, it's a bit of a mess, and it's far from simply sliding Mbappe into your lineup perfectly. However, if anybody can handle this, it would be Carlo Ancelotti. So since he's now locked down until 2026, it's not necessarily a bad transition for Mbappe to make, but he doesn't slot into this team perfectly, and that could push his hopes for a Ballon d'Or or a Champions League title a year or two down the line until they are able to find a perfect solution for all these incredibly talented players. And a slight delay isn't catastrophic, but if it's not going to give you everything that you want now, why not wait until Endrick has solidified himself as one of the best number nines in the world and you can spend time in your home city with your best friend getting a bag instead? Eh, that's still not a great reason to not go to Real Madrid. However, that's why I've saved the best for last. Going elsewhere. Specifically, Barcelona or Liverpool. Okay, Barca, that's a tad bit of fantasy football, but the reason I bring them up is because Mbappe would slide into this squad seamlessly, immediately making them contenders for every title they play for, without having to spend any time worrying about logistics of the squad. Barcelona has the number nines that Mbappe can start playing off of 
today with a struggling Robert Lewandowski, but also with a highly touted Vitor Roque, who will be six months ahead of Endrick when Endrick goes to Real Madrid. No matter how impossible it may be, Barcelona are better positioned right now to house Kylian Mbappe than Real Madrid are. They have a desperate need for a left winger who can hug the touchline and drive at players with the ball and make things happen, especially on the counter. But you may also say that he may not be the best contribution to an attacking side that presses well on the ball. But Barcelona is not a good pressing side at all right now, and with Joao Felix and Robert Lewandowski constantly starting, I can confidently say that Kylian Mbappe is in no way any worse than both of them at pressing, and in fact, he's much better on the attacking side of the ball. So it will be at the very least an incredible improvement on the two of them. But the reason this is fantasy football is not because Kylian Mbappe was a Madrid fan and wanted that Madrid fan for so long. It's because Barcelona has no money. We have seen for years that players are willing to play for whatever club, no matter who they supported as a kid. It happened for Modric and Jude Bellingham and apparently also Iniesta. But it doesn't matter. Don't get your hopes up because there is zero possibility that Barcelona can afford him right now. Maybe in a few years, but not at all right now. However, the reason I bring up Barcelona is to show you how big of a deal it would be if Kylian Mbappe can slot into a team immediately like he could if he went to Liverpool. There's been other rumors about Chelsea and Arsenal as well in the Premier League, but Chelsea are a little too, I guess, bad for a lack of a better word right now. And Arsenal need a striker, not a winger. Sure, they could use a winger, but they desperately need an elite striker. And so I'm a little too worried that he would be used too much as a striker instead of a winger, which is where he would excel the most right now. However, Liverpool, honestly, it's perfect for him. A great left winger would fit pretty perfectly into their squad and they don't desperately need a striker because they have Darwin Nunez and Cody Gakpo that can not only cover that position, but you also won't feel like you're missing having them on the wings like you would with Vinny or Rodrigo. Also, they're incredible on the counter. Can you imagine if Mbappe was added to the lineup of Salah and Darwin Nunez? Having two clinical players in Kylian Mbappe and Mohamed Salah would make this team not only a contender for the Premier League, when Manchester City is struggling, but also just a contender for the Premier League, period. I genuinely cannot stop thinking about how amazing this squad would be. The only problem they realistically have is at the base of the midfield, but if you're outscoring everyone, are you holy crap, what a team. And with Jurgen Klopp at the helm, I don't see any reasons to believe this side is not competitive in every single league they play in. I guess they just have to get back to the Champions League now. Maybe Mbappe's pressing ability could be called into question, but honestly, I think Klopp could handle that. And Salah seems su like such a humble player that I don't think his ego would take a hit having another great name uh, in that squad. I really don't think that'd be an issue at all. Salah is so humble. However, it doesn't really matter how perfect it's going to be because the problem is getting Mbappe invested into this project. I just don't see that happening at all. Straight up, playing for Liverpool is just not as sexy as playing for a club like Real Madrid or Barcelona or even PSG. The move is just a bit of a deviation off of what we have always heard that the Frenchman has always wanted. And so as much as I would like him to go, I don't really think he will. But honestly, it just seems a little too out of character for him. So I think he's either going to stay at PSG for another year or two or go to Real Madrid this summer. I know, not a crazy prediction, but that's what I think is going to happen, even though I would love to see him at Liverpool, or I'd love to see if Laporta can somehow sell his left leg and get him this summer. I don't think either one of those things is going to happen. Also, I'm going to be live streaming a watch along of the Supercopa final this Sunday, so make sure you're subscribed and you turn on notifications so you are aware of when I do go live. But if you enjoyed this video, why don't you jump on over to this video about all the problems that are going on with Barcelona and what the hell is going on there. But thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.